So I uploaded a video where I hit a three point shot with the best shooter in every single 2k game and you guys seemed to really like the video so today we're going to be doing the same thing hitting a three point shot in every 2k except we're going to be doing it with the worst shooter. Of course, we're starting off here in the original NBA 2K. Now, in NBA 2K, there is no three-point rating in the game. So, I'm going to go with a player that actually went 0 for 1 in this NBA season, and that is, of course, Shaquille O'Neal. We're going to be using him in this original 2K game, and hopefully, this video doesn't take too long. It was actually pretty hard to hit a three-point shot in NBA 2K with the best shooter. And we're also going to be doing this in a play now for all of the games as well. Once we get to the actual games with the actual three-point ratings, we'll start using uh, players that do actually have ratings. But for now, let's go with Shaq from three. And that would have been crazy if we hit it on the first attempt. It was actually pretty close. All right, there we go again from three, and that's no good. For you guys, the screen is normal size, but for me, it is super tiny. All right, let's give the Shaq. The only good thing about Shaq... I actually didn't know they had sprint on this game. When I was making my videos before, the sprint was not working at all in this game. But for some reason, it's working perfectly normal right now. There we go. Big block with Shaq right there. Let's give it back to Shaq. I am getting better at these games than I was at first. Another three-point shot. And they're just not falling. There's Shaq right there. Come to the three-point line. Of course, they don't cover us. There we go. From three again. Do the Shaq. Put it up. Are you kidding me? Come on, Shaq. I believe in you. Put that up again, and that's looking good. All right, here we go. We got one more attempt this quarter. Can we hit it on the final attempt? I was trying to hit a spin move, and that, they blocked the ball there. It was taking way too long with Shaq in a normal game, so I'm hopping into practice because we would have been in the game all day long. Excellent release. We still can't hit it, so we do have Shaq's release down. I like how it shows the release in practice, but it doesn't in the actual game can we pick that up so so far two attempts here and still nothing to go he's just is awful at shooting the tough shot to hit and there we go Shaquille O'Neal we hit a shot with him I know it wasn't in an actual game but come on it, it, it was just too difficult in an actual game let's move on to our next 2k all right up next we got NBA 2k1 and yet again there is no three-point rating in this game and for this game, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Instead of just going with a player that didn't hit a single shot during the season, I wanted to choose the player that hit a three during the season, but shot the worst. And that is going to be Darius Miles, who in the 2000 NBA season shot one for 19 from the three-point line, giving him a three-point percentage of 5.3%, which is just terrible. Darius Miles isn't even starting for the Clippers, so we got to get the ball. Actually, let's just let them score. I don't care. And then we got to call a timeout. All right. I think I got Darius Miles in the game now. There he is right here. Let's see what he looks like from three. Okay. That was actually not too bad. He's looking better than Shaq so far in the corner. And come on. I didn't even know there was sprint in these games. The last times I was playing, it just wasn't working. Darius Miles, come on, hit that. Come on. That was looking so clean again. And there it is with Darius Miles. That was so much easier in-game than NBA 2K, the original 2K with Shaq. Let's move on to our next game. Up next, we got NBA 2K2. Yet again, no three-point ratings in this game. So again, we're going to go with the player that had the worst three-point rating that actually hit a three during the season. And that is going to be Anthony Carter, who shot one for 19, just like Darius Miles which gives them a three-point percentage of 5.3%. All right, hopefully we can win a tip-off here. I won our first tip-off, and no, we don't win that one. Okay, so the sprint changed the controls. I actually got it. I accidentally got an intentional foul with the control in this game. The controls in this game are a lot different. Here we go, Anthony Carter again. Pull up, and we're going to get blocked. I don't like... Are you kidding me? I don't like how they're actually covering us now. Screen or something. There's the three. That's no good. Big board. Anthony Carter, wide open, put that up. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. I'm feeling it right here. Let's do a spin move. Step back, put it up. That wasn't even close. Wow. All right, come on. Give me a screen. There we go. Put it up. That's looking good. And there it is. Finally, with Anthony Carter. 
And that, was, that wasn't as bad as Shaq in the first 2K, but or, worse than our last one. Up next, we've got NBA 2K3, powered by ESPN. And this year, they actually did introduce the three-point rating in the game. And the lowest rating you can actually get in this game was a 53-point rating. And there's like 100 players with a 53-point rating. So we're going to be doing what we did in the other games. Had the worst three-point percentage that actually hit a three. And this here was actually Kendrick Brown, who shot three for 39, 7.7%. .7%, but for some reason, he has a 65 three-point rating. And the next guy on here is Pau Gasol, who shot one for 10, 10% from the three-point line. He does have the three, he does have the 53 point rating. So we're gonna be using him. Now in 2K, the lowest three-point rating you can have is a 25. So 50 actually seems pretty good. And hopefully they leave Gasol open. They do from the three-point line. Oh, that was so close that would have been crazy if we hit it on the first attempt i don't know if that's gonna happen at all in this video one eternity later and please just go in there we go catch shoot why'd it take so long to shoot is that an air ball all right where's gasol give it to him oh nice screen put that up we are 0 for 19 right now which is a lot worse than Gasol actually shot in real life. Okay, so it was impossible to hit it in the game. So I switched to practice with Pau Gasol here in 2K3. And I was just recording for about 10 minutes in practice. And I hadn't hit a shot yet. And then realized I wasn't recording. So we're still going on here in practice. Uh, about 10 minutes just shooting shots right here. That was not a good release there. In practice, it actually shows you how you release the ball. Which is pretty nice. So it says excellent release. Uh, but it is not helping at all coming into practice here. We are about 0 for 30 just in practice mode. Like, there's no spot on the court where he's better either. And there we go, finally. A slightly early release, and it goes in. That took so long. I think we took over 100 three-pointers in total with the game and in practice. So, like, 1 for 100 with Pau Gasol. I hope nobody's worse than him. Let's just move on to the next game. Moving on to our next game, we got ESPN Basketball, aka NBA 2K4. For some reason, they actually switched over to ESPN for this game. I'm not sure exactly why, but they did. Again, the lowest three-point rating in this game was a 50. So we got, again, like 500 players with a 53 point. And for this game, I'm just going to go with Sean Bradley since he's seven foot six. I don't know. I'm not even messing around with the game here. I'm just hopping right into practice mode. Excellent release. Ah, we got that on the first attempt. They did introduce game sliders in this game, though. Okay, let's uh, let's put this three point shot up a little bit right there. And maybe that will help. There we go. Bang. Sean Bradley. That was not bad at all. I wonder why it was so easy. He took way less than in the last game uh, let's see if we can hit two in a row no okay so putting up those that three-point slider still doesn't guarantee it goes in every time just uh, a lot more of the time uh, th i think it's just a spot on the court too but we're gonna move on to our next game i'm gonna count that i don't care we are on to espn 2k5 this video is going by so slow obviously for you guys i don't know how i ended up cutting it up but i don't know how long the video is now hopefully it's not too long for you guys already uh, this isn't the most interesting stuff. Lowest three-point rating you can get is a 50. I don't know why this is in these games. I don't know when they improve to putting the three-point rating higher. Okay, Mookie Norris shot 0 for 12 this year. And for some reason, he has a 69 three-point rating. So honestly, I'm not even sure how the three-point ratings work in this game because they're not at all accurate. Ruben Patterson shot 2 for 25 this year and he is a 64 three all right ben wallace has a 53 point rating he shot one for nine this year which is better than some of the other players on this list but he has the 53 point rating so we're gonna be using him and they actually had some sick parks in this game i turned rain on and we're in egypt right now okay so we gotta shoot the ball here oh that was so bad that's a free throw as well i don't that wasn't even the right player <laughs> we're just bullying this guy oh gosh I accidentally jumped again I, I don't know if i'll ever remember the controls on ps2 they're just so much different all right put it up there we go and finally we hit the two that was not bad at all four to two 
in Egypt with Ben Wallace, I think it's getting a little easier to hit threes. NBA 2K6 is our next game, of course. Again, this year, three-point rating was stuck at that 50 overall, was the lowest you can possibly get. So we're just going to pick someone that uh, we want to use. And for 2K6, I'm kind of feeling a Mecha Okafor with a 53-point rating. So that's who we're going to go with. Again, we got these super, super cool parks here. We have Western, which we have in 2K20, but only for dodgeball. Uh, I'm going to go with Truck Stop here, though. All right, this is the year they actually changed the camera angle. So we got to get back to that 2K camera angle. And hopefully this goes a little like 2K5. He's just popping that right away. All right, let's pick up the ball here. Okay, triangle is jump now. So that is actually nice, getting some current 2K controls. And I cannot get a stop. I cannot get the ball. And I also don't know where sprint is. Oh, no. It's make it, take it. So there's just no sprint in this game. The three-pointer. That's some good D. Let's get that again, though. Oh, my gosh. Why we got to spin and fade away from three? All right. I just need one stop. I don't even know how to go for steals in this game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Grab it. Nope. That's out of bounds on him, though. All right, we're going to get the ball here. And we're just going to pop it. We're just going to pop the shot. I'm feeling it right here. Come on, good release. I, I, how do you go for a steal? Square is not working at all. You Come suck. On, You're terrible. There. Get the ball. Put it up. That's looking good. And there it is. I thought that was about to come out. Look at that shot. Bang. 2K6 is over with. All right, so up next, we got NBA 2K7. We can't really see the title screen here. This is the game that always glitches out for me. It's on the PS3, but it doesn't really work great. This is the worst menu, I think, in 2K. It gets bad at like 2K11 or something, I believe it was. But this this is bad as well. Again, three-point rating, the lowest it could go is a 50. This year, look how much Pau Gasol has gotten better since when we first used him. He's 65 now. That would have been so much better to use him. When he could actually shoot a three. Uh, but for this game, we're going to be using Zaza Pachulia, who has a 53 point rating on the Atlanta Hawks. If this game works, I don't know if this game will work. Let's see if this works. Come on. Come on. And no, it it is not going to work. I don't even want to deal with this game. Let's move on to 2K8. Every game but 2K7. Well, we're moving on to NBA 2K8. I recorded a little intro for this game, but it didn't end up working. We're playing Street, Washington, D.C., and we're using Greg Odin, who has a 53-point rating. Again, they got the street music on and the awful trash talking in this game. That just sounds awful. Greg Odin, oh my. I don't even know how to play D right now. The controls are just different in every game. How does he How does he make that? This is when Greg Odin was actually very, very good at basketball. Pop the three. Come on, that's looking good. And that is money that was i think our fastest time to hit a three-point shot so far in any of these videos 2k8 thank you for making threes easy next up we got nba 2k9 and this is going to be our last game on the ps2 this year they actually added the letter rating so you got from f all the way up to an a plus i'm assuming uh but we're gonna switch it over to the view where we can actually see the ratings and of course yet again most rating you can get is a 50 overall three point in this game and for this year we're going to be using al horford he is really good at shooting the three-point shot now currently in the nba he's one of the best three-point shooting power forward slash centers but this year he had a 53 point rating of course this was very early on in his career um so let's try him out when, when he's got the low rating I'm just trying to play on as many different courts as we can before they actually get rid of all these courts. Can we shoot with square? No, we got to hold it down. And perfect release. We're going to start with the ball. Again, you only have the two camera angles, press and high in this game. So we're going to go with high. Check it up. And they're going to be playing tight defense on the three-point line. That's a brick. Let's get our own rebound here. Put it up again. Second attempt. Man, I thought that was going in. All right, we're just going to pop that right away, and there it is. 2K9 again. These games are getting easier to hit threes. It kind of progressively gets easier throughout the years. I mean, in recent 2Ks, it doesn't matter what your three-point rating is. As long as you got a good release, you can hit a shot. Next up, we got NBA 2K10 with Kobe Bryant on the cover. And if I, don't, I don't know if you guys remember if you watch my other videos, but this is the game where it's in slow motion for me, and this is the awful menu. 
This is another awful menu 2K decided to create. And this year, they actually lowered the three-point rating all the way down to a 20 of five. So we're no longer stuck at that 50 mark. And we got a lot of bad shooters in this game. But one of the best players in the NBA this year was Dwight Howard. But he only had a 25 three-point rating. So that's who we're going to be using for this game. All right, so they have NBA blacktop mode. And I wish they had this in the games today. But they got like the dunk contest three-point shootout game of 21. I'm going to be using the three-point shootout. But I'm going to be using Dwight Howard for this thing, which probably will not end well. As you can see, if you go to the Magic, he's all the way at the bottom. And let's just uh, select four other players. Actually, let's put in some guys that can actually shoot in this. Why not? Uh, we're going to be using Dwight Howard. Hopefully, we can hit a three, at least one three-pointer during this shootout. And for some reason, my screen is upside down. All right, I don't know why that happened. Why does this keep, my screen keeps going upside down? No. Okay, why? Why? I gotta flip my screen around. For some reason in the recording, it's upside down. We got Dwight Howard out here though. And let's see if we can hit a shot. This is actually really hard to get on point with him. Come on. Wow, that is, it. it is really hard to use Dwight Howard. We gotta try to get to that line. We gotta release so early. Is that it? There it is with Dwight Howard. The three is good to go. Okay, I'm starting to light up from the three-point range with Dwight. That was a bad release. It's just so, it's so laggy. This is, it actually works better than the actual game though. In this game, that was bad. Just, the release is so bad. When I click down square, it doesn't always go. Sometimes he just kind of stands there. And as you can see, this is just oh, so inconsistent. I got to tap square so many times. Shoot the ball. There we go, five seconds left. And this is not looking good for us at all. We're going to run out of time, but we get a score of seven, which is actually really good with Dwight Howard. So I am not disappointed in that at all. I'll definitely take that. Next up, we got NBA 2K11. We're starting to move through these pretty quick now. So if there's another three-point contest, I'm definitely going to be doing that. I believe there was. NBA 2K12 had that, that DLC where you could do like play horse and you could shoot shots off like uh, the empire state building and stuff i don't know if it was the empire state building but that was a super cool 2k this year again we got the 25 three-point rating and i think from here on 25 is the lowest rating you can get there's always so many players with that rating in these games but i want to go with somebody with a high rating that also was not good at shooting and I think I'm going to go with Brooke Lopez here. He's an 81 overall in this game. 25 three-point. Now he's one of the best shooting centers in the entire NBA. All right, we got Blacktop. And yes, we got the three-point shootout. For some reason, when you press LT, this comes up instead of changing the team. Okay, it actually changed that time. Let's come down here to Brooke Lopez. Let's add him. Let's add him. Select player. All right, so it looks like the three-point shootout does not work at all. I just realized something and they are Xbox controls and I'm on a PS4 controller. That is why it's not working correctly. So I got to press square. No. S what is X? I have an Xbox. X is square. It's still not working. All right. So apparently you have to sign in in order to play blacktop mode in this game. You can't now because the servers are down. Great job, 2K. Put it up again. And there it is with Brooke Lopez in practice mode. That was not too bad at all. NBA 2K12 is next. The intro to this game is legendary. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you guys, of course, because I'll get copyrighted. We're playing basketball. They had a much better menu in this game, I do got to say. Guessing again, the lowest three-point rating is 25. There are quite a few players with a 25, but come on. We got to go with Kwame Brown here. I don't think there's a really another option. All right, I guess I'm doing blacktop mode. For some reason, it's only 5v5. Uh, which team did I put Kwame on? Okay, he's on the home team. All right, do I get to start with the ball here? Oh, yeah, we do with Kwame as well. Wh which counts as a three-pointer? Do I got to go from the further line or the closer line? That was an awful release. Just pull up, kind of fading away. I thought that was going to be good to go. Let's put it up again. I don't know about their releases. I don't know when really release it. Is it when that little thing pops up? 
Hon I honestly forget how the shooting works in this game. I haven't played it for so long. I mean, we're d up right now, though. They only have one point. Granted, they're not the best players. There we go. Put that up. All right, Kwame. Three-point line. Put that up. And there it is with Kwame. That's what I'm talking about. Not too bad in 2K11 here. Or 12. I'm in 2K12. Up next, we've got NBA 2K13, of course, produced by Jay-Z. And this is actually our last last-gen game. After this, everything is going to be on the PS4. I finally got 2K14 and 2K15 on the PS4, so we can play, finally play it on there. Again, the lowest three-point rating you can get is a 20 of 5. Kwame Brown in this game yet again, but we will not be using him. Okay, so in this game, Anthony Davis actually had a 25 three-point rating. Of course, this is right when he came into the NBA. Uh, he's only 79 overall, 25 three-point. Of course, he's a lot better at shooting now, so we're going to be using him. In these newer games now, I think it was 2K11 and on, they got rid of all like the cool blacktop modes, all the cool parks and everything. Because he still was one of the best players on the New Orleans Hornets at the time. But we're just in practice mode here since we can't go into blacktop mode. And that is a deep three right there. Two attempts down with Anthony Davis. Nothing to go quite yet. Three attempts. We got we to gotta lower this difficulty down to rookie, I think. That, that was the problem there. And put it up again. And there it is with Anthony Davis. Finally. Of course, now he'd probably hit it on within three attempts at least. He should be able to hit it on his first attempt in practice. But 2K13, it was not the same story. So finally moving on to the PS4 here. And of course, we got NBA 2K14 up first. And yet again, the lowest three-point rating you can get in this game is a 25. Hito Turkoglu shot one for 24 this year, but he still had a 75 three-point rating, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But for this year, we're going to go with the Andre Jordan. I mean, he's pretty bad at shooting in every single 2K. I'm pretty sure he's still rated at a 25, so he doesn't really get better. But let's see what we can do with him here in blacktop mode against JJ Redick. And we got the rooftop blacktop. I forgot about this. Oh, what is this angle? What is this camera angle? I do not like it at all. JJ really just hit that. All right, whatever. We're going to play with this angle. Why not? Let's get to the three-point line. Put that up. No and that is in and out. Can we get a board? No. The graphics improved so much this year. I I actually cannot play on this camera angle. That is... That, that camera angle is just unplayable. No way. JJ gets inside on me like that. Are you kidding me? Put that up. And only two attempts with the Andre Jordan right here. That was super easy. Of course, our next game is NBA 2K15, and I'm hoping this is just as easy as 2K14. And 2K15 is the year that they introduced the standing three-point shot and the moving three-point shot. So there was two three-point shot ratings in the game. So we got to find a player that is 25 in each category, which there are, again, quite a few of. And I feel like Zaza Pachulia has just been staring us in the face for so many 2Ks. So we're finally going to be using him here while he's on the Bucks. A 69 overall. It's the perfect game. They do have the awful camera angle again. For some reason, I'm facing off against Giannis. I mean, he's not nearly as good here as he is now. This, this camera angle is a little better, though. I, oh my gosh. Why is Giannis so good at shooting threes? Very good release there. And, of course, it doesn't go in. Come on, Giannis. Just shoot that. Do something. Dunk on us. And Giannis drains another two in our face. Just rubbing it in at this point. Come on. Get the board. Let's go. No, and we drop it. I, I mean, I'm trying to hit a step back here. It's not working. Come on, and finally, we get the three to fall. I thought we were going to lose this game before we actually hit a three, but... Bang! Up next is NBA 2K16. We're getting so close to the end. So, yet again, in 2K16, we had the two three-point ratings. The lowest you can go is a 25, and there were plenty of players with 25 in each category. DeAndre Jordan actually improved to a 30 three-point standing shot this year, so not bad for him. We're going to be using Hassan Whiteside, though, because he has the 25 in each category, and now he can actually shoot the three ball decently. He doesn't shoot it a lot. This year, he's four for seven, which is 57%, which is not too bad. Uh, obviously, he still doesn't shoot it the most. It's not his best attribute, but he has improved quite a bit from his 25 three-point rating. But good thing I do not care about defense. That is a bad release. Come on, give me the board. All right, let's get back here. Put it up again. We are so close. 
getting that perfect release and why is he playing such tight d why is he playing such tight d that's not helping us i mean he's getting destroyed on offense there we go i'm leaving you so much room give me the room all right here we go hassan whiteside in practice mode now can we go back a little bit let's try to get like a perfect release here and we don't even have to get our own balls in these games like the old games. And there we go. Second attempt. We get a lucky bounce right there in practice mode. And bang, another one. Hassan Whiteside just cashing out when the when the defense just isn't right on our back. He's actually pretty good at shooting, but let's move on to the next game. Moving on to NBA 2K17. They actually introduced three three-point ratings. Three-point open, three-point contested, and three-point moving. Um, and there was a lot of players that had 25 in all three categories, but I got to go with Boban. I mean, he's, he's one of my favorite players in the NBA. Everybody loves Boban. So that's who we're going to be using for this game. I think here on out, I'm just going to be shooting these shots in practice mode because why not? But first attempt with Boban is no good. Second attempt is no good either. I'm releasing a little bit early, but we got it on rookie difficulty now and bang first attempt on rookie it goes in next up we got the greatest 2k game ever created nba 2k18 again this year they had the three three-point ratings of course the lowest you can get is 25 in every category and for some reason even though ben simmons went 0 for 11 this year his three-point rating is still actually pretty good in the game there are a lot less players in this game that have the the three-point rating at the lowest in all three categories but another player that was unable to hit a single three this year was JaVale McGee. He has all 25s in all three three-point categories, and he shot 0 for 6 from the three-point line this year. There's actually seven players that shot worse than JaVale McGee this year. We're in practice mode yet again, and we got that shot meter on the, the top of their body now. But for some reason, JaVale McGee is the only one of those players that had the all 25 ratings in this game, and already... It is just not looking good for him. Can we get a perfect release or something? It's not looking like it. I think 2K20 might be the only game where we can get a perfect release if we actually turn the shot meter off with a player with this low of ratings. Just hit one shot, JaVale. There it is. That's what I'm saying. The slightly early has a better chance at going in with JaVale McGee because the good, when you hit it good, it just hits the front of the rim where the slightly early is the only way to actually get it over the rim uh, but let's move on to the next game of course next we got nba 2k19 our second last game in this video we are so close to being done this one took so long to create just because of how many just because of how hard it is to actually hit a three with these bad players yet again this game had the three three point ratings so you could have three 25 three point attributes What's actually crazy about the 2019 season is that Jimmer Fredette shot the worst. He went 0 for 13 this year, even though he's such a good three-point shooter. He just could not shoot this season. And there's actually a lot fewer players with all 25 three-point ratings, even players that don't hit a single three throughout the season. For some reason, 2K does like to give some of those players a higher three-point rating. But someone that's had some of the worst ratings throughout all the years that we haven't used yet is Rudy Gobert. He is an 89 overall in this game. So probably the highest overall with this low of a three-point rating. And Gobert is going to be the starter on this team for the three or for practice mode, should I say. And so far, only two attempts with Rudy Gobert. I'm going to take that. I mean, some games are just so much easier to hit three-point shots with a low overall than other games. I mean, as you can see, you can see just how close some of these shots are falling. And most of these games, I was on the lowest difficulty. And our final game, of course, is NBA 2K20, NBA 2K19 Part 2, whatever you guys like to refer it to as. And this year in the game, they went back to just the single three-point rating. Again, the lowest three-point rating you can have is a 25. There is quite a few players with a 25 three-point rating. One player, I don't know why they don't have a 25 three-point rating, is Montrez Harrell because he's shooting 0 for 18 this year, but 2K has him with a 40 three-point. There's not nearly as many players with a 25 rating as in previous years. There is actually only 10 players. And of those 10 players, most of them don't even attempt three-point shots throughout the season. 
but the player will be hitting a three-point shot within this game is of course taco fall there's no other way we can end this video without hitting a three with taco so we're gonna go ahead and do this realistically taco's three-point rating should be a 99 but it is what it is so i really don't see it taking too long to hit a shot with taco fall here i honestly think it might be the first attempt let's come to the three-point line right here can we back up a little let's get right on the line put the shot up a little late but it doesn't matter that is money with taco fall to end the video off and we are finally done hitting a three-point shot with the worst shooter in every 2k uh, not technically the worst because there was a lot of players that are rated at the same overall uh, there's a lot of players tied for the worst um but there it is that video took so long to actually go through all those 2k so if you guys could smash the like button if you enjoyed the video that'd be highly appreciated this has been your boy smeekle though and i'll see you next time peace I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and double. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money.